Lincoln Jones contacted me and asked if I'd do an image for them. And I don't do commissions, because I can never seem to get inside anybody's head and figure out what they really like. Plus, I like doing the images I like to do. But then once I spoke with Lincoln, I really liked him. He's got something called the American Contemporary Ballet. And it's a theater that he and his girlfriend started. He's from New York. And they're kind of going back to very elementary ballet, balancing type stuff, where it's a couple musicians in the room and you know maybe a small troupe. And uh, I love what they were doing, and I really love to help them out. So I said, I'll tell you what, I'll do an image, and if you guys like it and want to use it for your seasonal poster, you can. So, but like so much of art. They're kind of going back to basics and back to the real stripped down elementary stuff, which I dug. I, I liked what he's thinking. I got the blues so bad, it hurts my tongue to talk. I got the blues so bad, it hurts my tongue to talk. I started out 30 years ago as a graphic designer and illustrator. I've always been kind of designing a rectangle. And this being yet another rectangle, I am just trying to contain the figure also by cropping the head and cropping the uh, head halfway through it. I end up with every man a more generic person. Some of the writers that inspired me when I first started painting were people like Raymond Carver, people that would start some sort of dialogue or some sort of narrative and then leave it up to the uh, reader to finish it. Plus it's also, my first ones were based on really bad snapshots that we used to take in our family where it would be half of your brother would be cropped out of the picture. Not intentionally by any means, but there is a nice kind of happy accident that happens with that sort of a snapshot from when I was a kid. My neighbor was taking up these older windows out of his house, and so I went across the street and said, what are you doing with those old windows? And he said, someone offered me $5 for them. And I said, I'll give you 10. And so uh, I bought all these windows, and then one November I took the month off and built the little house around them. Uh, originally I was going to put an airstream here, an old airstream here, but I ended up putting this here more as a ornament than anything else. Back in the 1920s was a cow stable. We were building our mosaics in here. That's a uh, mosaic of my paintings. It's a six by six and it probably got uh, 50,000 tiles in it. When I wasn't building mosaic steadily, I thought I'd turn the thing into a little bit of a lounge, and so I'm kind of in the process of uh, turning this thing into a card room and a lounge. Over here, this is where we build the mosaics. We have 83 colors. We build them all on platforms here. These are all images here that we built. This one's 10 by 18 in a home in Chicago, and there are 160,000 tiles in that. The other ones are just placed around in private collections or uh, public, public collections.
The thing I liked about the mosaics is once you get close to it, the abstraction, it's sort of pointillism for uh, the modern day, where on computers we're just looking at pixelization. And I thought about doing Byzantine or cut tile mosaics. The pink area here is a gesso. I do my, I work out a fairly tight drawing and then, uh, and then I gesso several coats of, of clear gesso, tinted, and then uh, I'll sand that down to be real smooth and then uh, paint on top of that. So all the pink area here that you see is uh, gessoed and uh, that's just my drawing, my base. What I'm laying in here is just my base coat painting and I'll come over, because I'll be dissatisfied with it, guaranteed, I'll come over and glaze on top of this thing and, and make it work. using a watercolor brush right now because that's what I tried when I first started out and uh, it worked for me. Uh, just blending all the paints and all that. I'm sure there's people that know how to do this a lot better than I, than I do but this seems to work for me and I get my uh, desired uh, objective accomplished.